Hi everyone. <clears throat> Hi everyone. Today we're gonna just compare two same projects, similar projects, basically same projects and products, I should say. Hi everyone. Today we're gonna review and compare two similar products, basically same products. Actually, we're going to turn the camera and start with the reviewing. <coughs> That's the original, how it came from Germany, right? It says made in Berlin. <laughs> they mean that, uh, oh, they meant that the company, which uh, I ordered it from Berlin, <coughs> says, says here, handle with care or zerbrechlich. Alomjivo in Hrvatsko. Or zerbrechlich in German. You see, it's just how it doesn't look like it's very protected. That's why I was kind of scared to see and to check. It took about uh, one month to travel from Berlin, Germany. <clears throat> so that's why I just ripped it open. See, it's not even... It's not even cut properly. I opened it in the, my car after I got it from the post because it was registered, so I had to go and sign for it. And that's the original I bought in uh, here in Canada, in uh, Alberta, Calgary. <clears throat> that's the one I bought on 11th. And on 12th, December last year, I ordered the other one, which is uh, this one. It's only difference is a USB-C connection. It's the same guy, probably same company, Pioneer. And this one comes with the free inside 25 gigabyte verb verbatim Blu-ray disc. And of course, it's a 3.2 <coughs> USB-C guy, which uh, offers probably more speed, but it offers uh, just a more convenient one cable USB-C. Let's open it. I, I mean, I did already open it. But... So that's how it come. comes with. You get this thing here, which is pretty handy. USB 3 uh, to USB-C connection adapter. Uh, that's pretty handy. And of course you get only one. USB 3 is the USB C. So basically, how you use it is just to use it. You put this one here. And then you have basically USB C to USB C standard cable. And then you get this free baby. I paid 98 euros which comes to 147 uh, Canadian dollars <clears throat> that's the, how it works easy and it comes with the Nero It's exactly the same like the other one. Just to see the box is a slightly smaller because the original one, or I should say USB 3 one, came with the adapter. Because that's the original one. See? And that's the other one. And I already engraved that at the Prosti Nuts 2021. That means to 2021 Calgary, December, and you can see the different uh, <clears throat> uh, number 70102, and this one is uh, 43889, both are 5 volts and 3 amps. Okay, the only difference is basically the other one 
comes with a USB 3, a micro USB basically connection, and the power supply and the power input, and the USB C doesn't. USB C, USB 3.21 doesn't. And they're exactly the same. Now we're gonna open them, test them just to see. This is, this is supposed to be opened by one hand, but it doesn't work. It does work, but it's this magnet is pretty strong. So you have to see, it does work with one hand, but it's kind of <clears throat> holding here magnets are really strong, so kind of flips up and down a little bit, but not big. It's not a big deal. Otherwise, they look exactly the same, right? That's the same product. I just want to check, is that the same uh, uh, manufacturer like Pioneer? Like the first one is Pioneer and the other one USB-C probably is the same one. I'm gonna try it. There you go. One click and another click here. I like these options because it's it's very elegant and sexy. It's always hard to do it with one hand, but it's see it's it's fairly easy. One click and it's already recognized. It's only one convenient cable, not like original one, which I bought first. It came with this kind of stuff where you have to plug USB 3 and USB 3 and then and this kind of connection right so instead of this you have one nice cable connected now let's see how that translates to recognition. BDR properties. Mm, hardware. Yeah, it is Pioneer. It says Pioneer BD dash RW BDR UD U3 USB device. So that's Pioneer and it works. Also other stuff I wanted to show you here. I made the, the first DVD Blu-ray disc and it was 91.4 and the second one was uh, 91.9 and the third one was 88.3 why i'm talking like that because i <clears throat> with experiment i just find found out that 93.2 gigabyte is absolute maximum for those who don't know how many uh, real gigabyte you can squeeze on 100 gigabyte it is a 93.2 if you go 93.2 or 93.1 you you can be assured that you can squeeze it on a disc. If you go 93.25 or 93.3, it's not gonna be able to squeeze that. It shows you, I tried a couple of times, it shows you the, <clears throat> the result, uh, it stops the, mm, stops the whole process, uh, burning process, and it's not gonna be able to, you're not gonna be able to burn the, the disc, right? I'm not gonna be trying to burn anything. I'm just gonna be trying to confirm is it working? And I believe it's gonna be working. If I just put it there. Just gonna conf confirm the reading capabilities. And I'm gonna assume that that works because there's no reason why it doesn't. Why it shouldn't. 
as a sound. Spinning. Yeah, 81, 91 gigabyte original video. Mm -hmm. And it works. Good, works good. And as I said, only one connection. Very nice. That's good. It works. And that's it. So 93.2 gigabyte maximum, what you can squeeze. And there's a three layers, three layers. So one layer is 33.3. .3. Three layers is 100. If you have 128, that should be able to work with 128 gigabyte. <laughs> Makes funny sound because it's still spinning while I'm doing this. But otherwise, it works fine. <clears throat> yeah, I wanted to say that the three layers of uh, <clears throat> on the one disk, there are three layers 33, 33, 33.3. And then you have 100 gigabyte. If you have another 33, it would be 128 gigabyte. But in this three layer DVD, you get a 100 gigabyte squeezed or 93.2 maximum, what you can squeeze on one disc. Unless you go to Sony, which Sony released it like last year, I think, but it's very expensive. Then you can burn 128 gigabyte or something like 93 plus probably like 120, 122 or something gigabyte on 128 gigabyte. But I would go with 93.2 gigabyte or uh, maximum on 100 gigabyte uh, disk and that should be okay. I didn't wanna <clears throat> try, it. does it burn? I believe it burns, but uh, I just wanted to confirm that, that the both units are made by Pioneer, the company. Verbatim, uh, just the other one is USB-C connection. More convenient, easy, but of course, uh, it needs it, uh, providing that you have a USB-C connection, right? Which is nowadays pretty much the standard. Okay, thanks for watching and have a nice day. Bye-bye.